Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a video today about something that took me a little while to figure out. Um, what it's about is removing audio tracks or multiple audio tracks from a MKV file or multiple MKV files and uh, removing it in batch so you don't have to go through and remove the tracks from each video file one by one using MKV Toolnix and uh, you do have to have MKV Toolnix installed and I'll put a link in that in the description below so you can go download it and uh, this will be using a .bat file to uh, batch remove audio tracks from the MKV so I looked up uh, how to do this and I found a, a script to use in .bat file which is shown here and this would remove all audio files and this one would remove track 3 so I wanted to remove um, not only track 3 but track 1 of the audio, I'm sorry, the MKV files that I have and to do that let me minimize this you would make a dot bat file which I have here and I'll just show you how to do that you can open up notepad and I've already got it copied here and this is the script and right here in the code or the script is what you're trying to remove so I have track 3 and track 1 and this section right here says what you're removing so it's going to be an audio track so I'm removing audio track 1 and 3 and uh, as the example here I have some Dragon Ball Z let me open this up and pause it here All right, it is a little big here, hold on. Okay, so whenever I go to this file, I have audio track one, which is in English, and it has the Japanese audio, if anybody was curious. And then track two, it's English with the uh, American music, and then Japanese uh, language with the uh, Japanese music. But anyway, so that has three tracks. One, two, three. And I need to remove oops, uh, track one with the Japanese music and the track three with the Japanese language and Japanese music. I just want the English everything, basically. So we'll close out of that. We need to create that new bat file, which is here so we can run it inside the folder that contains the video files that we want to remove those tracks from so in order to save this and again uh, you can choose what audio track you want by uh, changing these numbers so if you just wanted to take out the first track it would be like that uh, track one and two it would be like that but uh, in our case or my case it would be one and three so I actually already have that prepared so I'm not even going to save that and that is right here I just named it remove track I'm sorry remove tracks and actually one thing that you do need to make sure that you do when you create this .bat file I just pasted it in again you will go to file save as and you can't just name it uh, let's say track remover dot bat you would have to actually go down here to save as type and all files so that makes it be able to be a, a dot bat file instead of just a txt because if you tried to save it with just text documents then when you name it track remover dot bat it would name it as track remover dot bat dot txt so you want to make sure that you select all files so it can be a bat file But I do have that here, so I'll go ahead and drag that into the directory 
that I want to use as, or I'm sorry, drive, put it into the directory that you have the files that you want to remove those specific tracks from, and this will do it in bulk, so to any video files in the directory that you put the .bat file in, and also in the .bat file, almost forgot about this, right here is where you installed MKV Toolmix and MKV Merge. So you'll want to point uh, this section where you installed MKV Merge. So in my case, C Drive Program Files 86, MKV Toolmix, MKV Verge. And that's uh, all that you have to change is the tracks that you're removing and where you installed MKV Merge. All right. So once we click on this .bat file, once we have it in the directory that has all of the video files that we want to remove those tracks for, it'll pop up in command prompt. And as you can see here, it's got progress for each of the video files. And it will make a new file for each of the video files with the tracks removed. And it will rename them um, in that script that is on this web page, it automatically has it to rename the video file, which is this section here. Uh, this is the uh, script that I put into the .bat file. It says fixed underscore uh, percentage percentage A. So basically this percentage percentage A is the name of the video file that's already in the directory that you're trying to change. Anything that you put before this will put, um, it will be before the original file name. So in my .bat file, I'll keep this to the side here, I have it set as underscore percentage percentage A. So that's going to put a underscore right before each of the new files. So here's an original file without the underscore, and here's a new one that has those two tracks removed that I identified in the .bat file. And I'll go ahead and open it up and show you. So you go to audio, audio track. It only has that one audio track, which is the English with the American music. So that's how you remove it, and again, in this command prompt, once it's all done, because I have in this dot .bat pause on the second line, it'll keep this command prompt open so I can make sure that everything went accordingly. So it says press any key to continue, it'll just close it out. If you want it to just automatically close, just remove this pause. and the a uh, command prompt window will just close out and you can tell that it's done by not being opened anymore. But I hope this helps anybody out who's trying to remove uh, multiple tracks from an MKV file. I know everybody who downloads anime, uh, a lot of people download dual audio and sometimes the Japanese track is the first one and some video players don't have support for multiple audio tracks or if you're using Plex it will automatically go to uh, the first audio track unless you signify it to be English but in my case the original files here had two English and the first one was not the one I wanted to use so I had to remove it so um, you can use it in that case or I'm sure you can find other ways to use this but uh, yeah feel free if you have any questions comment below the video I'll give uh, links to anything that I had to download such as MKV Merge or M MKV Toolnix um, and I'll link to that forum that gave me that code but uh, yeah and again uh, feel free to comment visit hybridclover.com which is my new website URL and I'll be posting this on my uh, new YouTube channel and uh, feel free to subscribe to keep updated uh, thank you very much see you guys